What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Kaiju Cave. Today I'd like to do another MonsterVerse discussion video. So let's get right into it. Alright, so it looks like leading up to this week's MonsterVerse watch along event for Godzilla King of the Monsters, uh, Michael Doherty posted on his Instagram uh, a uh, image that showed uh, various uh, colorations and, and uh, like basically like a 3D image uh, here of the female Mudo from Godzilla King of the Monsters and Michael Doherty actually confirmed that this is actually the queen of the Mudos and she's actually even got a name. Her name is Barb. Uh, anybody who hasn't been watching the Monsterverse uh, watch along events, you're definitely missing out on a lot of information. Uh, Godzilla uh, 2014 actually had Gareth Edwards that was on Twitter posting uh, tidbits of information. Jordan Vogue Roberts actually was on for the uh, Kong Skull Island watch along event and was posting uh, a bunch of goodies. And then obviously uh, with the Godzilla King of the Monsters, Michael Doherty actually did the same and we got a lot of really good information. I know a lot of you guys are like me that when you're watching the, uh, the movies, uh, whether it be the Monsterverse or any other series, you always catch little pieces and, or a little glimpse of information, you know, like uh, on the screen or on a paper or out of the corner of, uh, of your eye on, on the movie. And I'm always wondering to myself, I'm like, man, I'm like, what, what is on that? Or I'd like to get my hands on that. I'd like to be able to read that. Well, for the Monsterverse Watch Along event, a lot of that stuff that we wanted to see actually has happened. And I'm going to share it with you right here. And I appreciate Legendary and Warner Brothers uh, doing the Monsterverse Watch Along. So one of the things is, is you catch a glimpse of uh, Dr. Vivian Graham's uh, deceased profile for uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. And you just catch a brief glimpse of it when they're on the Argo jet. And you're, and you're wondering, you're like, man, and you're like, I'd like to read that. But unfortunately, you can't. And so I got that posted here. The other thing that I got is the Monsterverse got some new uh, Titan profiles. Or, well, basically, like, in the, for instance, for Godzilla, uh, Rodan, Mothra, and, and Ghidorah, we already caught glimpses of those uh, through the Monarch Sciences website. However, uh, this is just an update. Um, kind of gives uh, the same information uh, that the Monarch Sciences website did for uh, Godzilla, uh, for Mothra, uh, again for uh, Rodan, and then also for Ghidorah. But one of the really cool things is the fact that you get new monster profiles for uh, the Titans uh, Behemoth, Methuselah, and Scylla, which I find very fascinating uh, and, and really exciting because you want to learn more about those those titans and i know like especially with behemoth behemoth he's a uh, a fan favorite and so it's really exciting to see these uh new titan profiles uh well like take methuselah for instance methuselah is actually a good guy methuselah is considered a protector and it goes through the whole titan profile and actually gives uh sort of a verse from the bible of of, of the uh titan so i thought that was really cool the next one is uh, Scylla, uh, and actually Scylla is considered a destroyer, so De Scylla is actually a bad guy, a uh, bad girl, or whatever uh, Titan uh, it is, uh, and it's got the whole profile, and again, it's got another uh, biblical uh, reference, which I thought was amazing, and then we got Behemoth, uh, one of the fan favorites from Godzilla King of the Monsters, and Behemoth is actually considered a protector, so Behemoth's a good guy, I thought that was really cool. Because when all the Titans were converging upon Godzilla at the end of King of the Monsters, you pretty much didn't know who was a good guy or who's a bad guy. Next in line right here, we got uh, new uh, artwork from Godzilla King of the Monsters. And this is actually uh, the Temple of the Fire Demon. And Michael Doherty uh, talked about this and then wanted to put it in the film. But uh, obviously due to uh, circumstances and timing and things like that, it didn't make it in. Uh, here's another piece of artwork for uh, the Temple of the Moth. I thought that was a really uh, beautiful uh, piece of artwork for the film. And then uh, here's a close-up of uh, Dr. Eileen Chen's uh, you know, fa family uh, photo uh, throughout the uh, ages. Uh, here is a, another piece of artwork. And obviously if you have the Godzilla King of the Monsters art book, you'd see some of this artwork, but... 
uh, here's a new cool piece of artwork from uh, Ghidorah where he comes out of the ice and, and Godzilla fights him. I also have added in here some Rodan artwork that was shown uh, through the MonsterVerse Watch Along, which I thought was really fantastic. It shows Rodan coming out of the volcano um, and Isla de Mara, uh, Mexico. And then here's uh, another shot of that. I, I really like this one because it kind of gives like the scale or like the, you know, sets the tone for the scene. I thought it was really cool. Um, next is a 3D rendering of Mothra. And this is actually... Uh, Mothra in her form where she was fighting uh, Ghidorah at the end through her bioluminescence uh, and also when she was fighting Rodan she takes on that orange you know like a darkened color appearance uh, which is different than her normal bluish green appearance uh, one of the things that we caught during Godzilla King of the Monsters is the location of all the Titans and I and I was like, man, I'd like to really get a close look at that. Well, we got it right here, and you can actually see the location of all all the known titans uh, that Monarch has posted on there. And you can actually take a look and see, you know, where basically where you live at. You know, how what's the closest titan that might be to you? So I thought that was kind of really cool, uh, like a cool reference to be like, oh, you know, hey, there's there's where I live. Oh crap, there's a a, a titan that's close by so i thought that was really awesome so i wanted to put it on here it was uh sweet that they posted that during the uh watch along event and also uh here's the uh inner makings or a close-up of we caught a screen in the background of godzilla king of the monsters uh, that showed the missile uh holding the oxygen destroyer so i got that right here it's pretty pretty amazing looking uh the other thing is is when dr uh Vivian Graham and Dr. Sirizawa and Mark Russell were on their way to uh, Castle Bravo. Uh, Mark Russell was scrolling through uh, that pad, uh, the data pad that had the locations of all the Titans. And I, you're like, man, I want to get a close look at that. Well, now we finally actually get a chance to see what uh, Mark Russell was seeing. And you get to see all the Titan profiles for Godzilla, Scylla, Kong, Methuselah, Mothra, Behemoth. And I thought that was really amazing because I wanted to see those up close and now we finally get to. So it was it's really exciting. So now when you watch the film again, you're like, man, you know, you you, you actually seen what it looked like close up. So you're you're basically not not fiending or frothing at the mouth to, you know, get that information because you got it right here. So it's really cool. And I uh, definitely made this part a little long in my video because I wanted people to get the chance to take a look and get a get, you know, catch a glimpse uh, here's another uh, image of the orca for the Titan profiles for uh, their their calls or their roars or or whatever their heartbeats, um, and I thought that was really fascinating that we get to see it up close, uh, the wavelengths and stuff. Also, Mike Doherty posted uh, in Twitter that he would have liked to have used more Toho kaiju. However, he also liked the idea. Uh, that he could design some new uh, uh, Titans to put in the film. But unfortunately, some of them just didn't make the cut. And like the Scorpion Titan uh, was one of them. Uh, here's some more posts from uh, Mike Doherty for, from uh, the MonsterVerse Watch Along event. Definitely take a look and read along. Uh, he lets out a lot of really good information uh, pertaining to Mothra uh, as being like a divine uh, angel or goddess. And then right here, I thought this one was amazing. It says, Mothra doesn't fear death because she's conquered it many times. She's already laid her egg and knows she'll be reborn again and again. So that kind of lets you know that Mothra is definitely not gone uh, and may make appearance in Godzilla vs. Kong. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, this one was really cool. This uh, We already had this confirmed before, but I thought it was awesome that Mike Doherty posted it again where... It pretty much just uh, states that Godzilla and Ghidorah fought in ancient times and Godzilla defeated Ghidorah and knocked him in the eyes and he was frozen. Uh, the next one is, is Mike Doherty wanted to express how he feels the Titans uh, represent uh, nature. You know, Rodan is fire, Mothra is earth, Godzilla water, and Ghidorah is air. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool for elemental deities. The next one is... Uh, Mike Doherty was talking about how uh, if it basically wasn't for uh, humans interfering all the time, uh, Godzilla pretty much would have uh, killed Ghidorah in the water 
uh, when he pulled Ghidorah under and ripped off his head. So I thought that was really cool. Next one is is when uh, Dr. Eileen Chen and Mark Russell and Dr. Sirozawa go down to Godzilla's lair to look for him. Uh, pretty much just states right here that Dr. Chen was pretty much recording everything. So I find that really fascinating. It was one of the key points. Here's another one. It says, Mothra Stinger was obviously a new idea. It was born from the concept that she lived in a pretty vicious environment full of predators and would need an equally harsh method of self-defense. So I thought that was really awesome. So I definitely wanted to share that because that's definitely a key point in my opinion. Um, and then also Mike Doherty uh, talks about the severed head of Ghidorah and the, you know, pretty much the infinite possibilities that that severed head uh, could be uh, attributed to. And I, I like that a lot. I think that's really fascinating that he shared that. And then here uh, is my uh, final part of this video. I thought that it was really cool that the uh, Mazer turret was actually a throwback to Toho uh, for the Godzilla King of the Monsters. So I thought that was really, really cool that they put that in there. Anyway, if you like this video, please smash and stomp the like and subscribe button Godzilla style. And we'll talk to you soon. Kaiju Freaks out.